Something I just discovered at the grocery store. A new King Oscar with a different packaging scheme. This is the one that comes in the little aquarium style, where you can look in and watch the fishies as they sit on the shelf. I'm excited about trying these. I always wonder, though, what happens when little Johnny grabs onto this and pokes a hole into the plastic in the store? Wow, what a stinky mess that would be. Imagine mom's embarrassment. Anyhow, I suppose no mother would actually buy sardines with a child in the cart. A lot of stuff written on this package. Just can't get over that. It's probably some kind of puncture-proof plastic. I haven't tested it out, but maybe I'll give that a shot later on. Lots of stuff on here. King Oscar, the premium of sardines right here. Looks, looks pretty cool. I don't know what the zero is there. There must be some significance. Oscar. Zero or O for Oscar. That's what it is. King O. I guess we can call him that from now on. King O brand. Cool. <clears throat> All right, let's read some of this stuff that we have. In extra virgin olive oil with sliced Spanish manzanilla olives. All right, those look like regular olives to me, but I'll take their word for them that they're manzanilla olives. The Mediterranean styles are the ones that I love the best. What else is on the front there? Royal Selection, hence the crown. Certified Sustainable Seafood, MSC. So you can go to msc.org and you can check on where they caught these and all that kind of stuff. Non-GMO certified, yes, because it's wild caught. Wild caught, oak smoked, hand packed. That's all good to know. A Norwegian tradition since 1902. Hmm. Is it still a product of Norway? Let's look on the back. King Oscar. Loved everything about Norway, especially our seafood. That's why in 1902, we, that's why in 1902, he gave us the greatest gift, his name. That's the history of King Oscar brand. These premium sardines are sustainably wild caught from select ocean waters. Then, authentically oak, oak wood smoked, hand packed, and preserved in the finest Spanish olive oil. Probably, this royal selection is MSC certified and non-GMO project verified already. And then all the nutritional facts, which are all the same pretty much across the board. <clears throat> Ingredients. Lightly smoked bristling sardines. They're one of the few that actually puts bristling sardines because bristling is a type of the fish. Extra virgin olive oil, green olives, and salt. Uh -huh. So here it says green olives. Over here it says manzanita olives. Maybe they're both the same. Fish count, 8 to 22. I look forward to the 22 rather than the 8 because I like the small slender ones. Product of Poland. Okay. So our Norway brand is no longer sourcing their sardines from the cold waters of Norway. But Poland is up there in a pretty cold area too. A lot of good Polish sardines. I know that. All right, let's open the box. We'll open it from the top. No directions as to which one is preferred. Let us see your typically hermetically sealed one, glued, non-reclosable. Not that you'd ever want to reclose a box with an open sardine can in it. Let's see how precise the fit may be. Drops right out. <clears throat> okay, now this impresses me because the can is painted and printed from King Oscar. It's not like they're going to get a series of cans produced by some generic food company that sells the same can to five to ten different brands or sellers. This says King Oscar right on the can. So King Oscar makes this, goes into their packaging, and to no one else's. Well, I don't know. Maybe they print other cans, too. But this is, uh, this is impressive. I like it. Now, to open these up. Similar pull tab, except made of plastic. I take a little bit more care on these, because when you push your pressure down, it wants to ooze everything out. However, there is a good quantity of air on the top, so probably just the air will ooze out. 
Oh, wow, that was surprisingly easy. Now it gets me to wonder, is it actually a good seal? So let's hold it right there. We will do the drain method. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's going to the bathroom. Now, for those of you who like to drink this oil, there you go. You got your cup ready to go. Bottoms up. Not me. Well, let's finish opening. Well, no, let's take a look at this can now that it's empty. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Again, I'm a purist. I like the old kind of stuff, but for a new, a new way of doing things, I think this is pretty cool. They're not the first one necessarily to have come up, or maybe they were. Other, other producers also have these see-through display tops, which are, I'm sure, going to be the thing of the future. But it's just so cool to be able to look at what you got in there. It is a little bit messy, though, when you go to pull it off. You can't hardly not touch the oil in some way. That's something I would like to have them work on. And now they're even, they're even more glossy and prettier. Check that out. Man, does that ever look good. And it smells even better. You can tell the Mediterranean ones, they have a little bit of a different smell to them. There must be some kind of spices in there. I don't remember if the ingredients said that, but ah. And just to look at the care that they put into packing these things, all in nice rows, head to tail, head to tail, back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. Not the precision I used to see because it used to be they were they were similar in sizes too. Now you've got larger ones and smaller ones, so it doesn't fit exactly. little fish still something really neat that takes you back to kind of your primitive heritage when people had to actually catch fish out of the lake or out of the stream and eat stuff just like this oh my god so here we go When they say lightly smoked, there's something special about that. It's not, whoa, smoked meat. It's smoked to just add a mild flavor of smoke. Again, King Oscar, premium brand of sardines. They seem to do everything top notch, including smoking. This, you know, other smoked meats are overpoweringly smoked, which I like too. I like really strong flavored things. But I also like delicate, lightly flavored foods that enhance the flavor of the food itself rather than take over and become the flavor of the food. And in this case, it definitely enhances it and allows you to taste the actual fish with just a little bit of smoke flavor. And these are definitely slippery, just like fish are supposed to be. Now let's throw one of those manzanita slash Spanish olives on there, or green olives. I don't think it's going to step it up much, but we'll see.
I can barely notice it. I could use a few more of those in there. And I suppose if I want to do, we could go over there to the refrigerator, open up a jar of olives, and toss a couple of them on there. Not very salty at all. Even with the olives, not very salty. So if you don't like salty foods, especially if that's what turns you out from other sardines because of the saltiness in some of them, definitely not over salted on this. Again, they got it done just right. Let me take a peek inside and see if these are sliced open. Okay, I'm going to show you something here. These are not sliced or gutted. I'm sure, I'm sure the process they use by cutting the heads and pulling everything out is supposed to take everything out, but it's not sliced down the lower belly part there. I'll even try to uh, prove that here. Yeah, so the fork goes in and you can't lift it up. So that means there's no incision down there. So let's just out of curiosity see what remains inside. And there's what's inside. So there are entrails, innards, guts, if you would, that remain in these fish. But it's hardly detectable. There's no texture to it. And if that's what adds the flavor to these types of fish, then I'm all for it. Organ meat is supposed to be one of the best things you can eat. Yes, it does rhyme, but I didn't know that until I said it. So now we know that you get bonus content with these fish. Well, I'm going to There, I think that's pretty cool. Can't detect a difference now. Oh, teeny tiny hair bones. I am not seeing, there it is, okay. Yeah, this, this, the uh, skeletal remains is there, but it is so soft, you can't detect it at all. Well, okay, we're gonna call that a wrap, and I'll share these with others after the movie's done. King Oscar sardines in olive oil with manzanita olives and the really cool display carton. As usual, King Oscar is the premium brand of sardines. These continue to be my favorites, probably will for a long time. Easy to find these. They're probably in all of your stores or all of your main grocery stores. Pick them up. Try them for yourself. I'm sure you will agree. They are still the best. Until next time, thanks for watching.